Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on basically all the CW shows. Today we're going to be talking about some leaks from Crisis, some leaks to do with potentially some new DC shows, also talking about a few different pieces of information for some upcoming episodes of Supergirl and The Flash, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... Welcome to this video, please be sure to stick around throughout this whole video because we've got a lot of information to go through this video so it's going to be a lot of stuff, so stick around. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the rumours, the leaks that apparently have come through and so this is regarding some potential new shows, right? So this is coming from a person over on Reddit, you know, Reddit leaks can be 50-50, they can be true, they can be false, completely false, they could be made up. So everything you read on Reddit or like 4chan, I don't even go on there, but like you gotta take it out with the biggest grain of salt. And so this is coming from a user on Reddit and apparently they're reliable, apparently they've got some stuff right in the past but I'm not familiar with them. And so what he has done or she has done is made a list of the upcoming DC projects that they are working on for the TV shows, whether that's on DC Universe or the CW. So, again, take it with a massive grain of salt. I'm going to be giving you you guys my opinions and, you know, how it links to the shows that are currently running right now. Alright, so first off, let's talk about the CW. So, apparently the shows that have been talked about recently in terms of maybe coming to the CW is... First off, the Tyler Hoechlin Superman show. So this has been talked about, this has been rumoured about for, you know, maybe the past few years, about two years ago, maybe it first started. I think around, you know, Supergirl Season 3 is when it started, this rumour. And I think they definitely have considered it, so I don't think this is like a far-fetched leak. Like, we've heard about this for a while, that maybe Superman might come, but I've always been against it because we've got Supergirl on here. So if Superman were to come... I think Supergirl would obviously not be on the CW anymore, it would be probably gone by the time they would implement a Superman show, but I don't think they're going to cancel Supergirl or anything like that to replace it for a Superman show, because Supergirl is actually more popular than Superman, than Tyler's Superman, although everyone loves Tyler's Superman, everyone loves Melissa Benoist's Supergirl even more, like, by far. And so, another show that was talked about apparently from this leak is Metal Men. So apparently this is being shipped around different networks and CW placement is temporary. So I don't know about this because I haven't heard jack shit about this. I don't know if you guys have, but I think this is completely out there and this is where I start to be like, ha, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. And so there's another one and this makes me question, you know, whether or not to even trust these leaks at all. It says they're making a Martian Manhunter Supergirl spin-off. So, I think that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny because, obviously, if Supergirl's still on, you won't have a Martian Manhunter show because John is always going to be on Supergirl. So, the fact that the CW have said, and Mark Pedowitz, who's in charge of the CW, have said, Supergirl's not going anywhere, it's going to be sticking around for a very long time. Also, Melissa's on a contract. I believe it's to about season 7. And unless everything's going dreadful for Supergirl, they're not going to cancel Supergirl because it's the second highest rated show for the most part. Obviously, it can blip up and down, you know, Riverdale can go above and some different things like that. But for the most part, it's one of the most popular and most viewed CW shows and it makes them a lot of profit compared to some of their other shows which don't get nearly as many views. So if Supergirl's still doing good, still getting those advertisers, still getting those viewers, even if it dips up and down occasionally, that's fine. They're not going to cancel Supergirl, because also Melissa's on a contract, unless something goes dreadfully wrong, they're not going to cancel it, and they're not going to bring in a Martian Manhunter show. I just don't believe this one at all. Okay, so let's talk about DC Universe. So, we've got a rumoured show of Blue Beetle. So, I haven't heard anything about this. I've only heard that they were trying to do a Blue Beetle film, Maybe they've transferred it, maybe they're like, hmm, maybe we won't do the film and we'll do a TV show, but I haven't heard about that. I would be very interested in seeing that because I love Blue Beetle, he's one of my favourite characters, especially Jaime Reyes. 
Okay, so the next one, Kyle Rayner's Green Lantern show. Now this one, I'm like, ha, yeah, that would be really cool, but no, that's not happening. Like, I can say that with a rational sort of trail of thought. Like, no one would be like, yeah, let's do a Green Lantern show, because you know how big it is. They're planning to make Green Lantern films and everything. It's one of the biggest characters, and I just don't think they're going to be able to do that, to be honest. Okay, so another one is Red Hood Titan spin-off. I think that's possible. I don't know if it'll happen right now. I think it's possible for the future because Jason Todd is kind of a fan favorite on Titans right now. And so that would make sense. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. And the Superboy Titans spin-off, another spin-off of Titans. Apparently this is an idea they have right now. Obviously this could happen. I don't know, you know, the levity. I reckon they probably like mentioned it a few times or something like that. Hawk and Dove is another show that is apparently in the talks. Like, this could potentially happen and it's still on the table. I think this is uh, more likely than a lot of these because, you know, Hawk and Dove, they really have sort of shot into the atmosphere in terms of popularity with Titans. Okay, so that is it to do with that. So, I don't really trust these leaks to be honest like we've heard about the Superman show they're not gonna do the Martian Manhunter show they're not gonna do the Green Lantern show but there's some things I would like to see obviously like I would love to see the Green Lantern show and stuff like that but I don't think these leaks are super reliable but let me know your opinions in the comments down below also there has been some articles going out about this interview with Lucifer Tom Ellis and he talks about how, you know, he was spotted on set in Vancouver when they were filming Crisis. And he says, oh, I'm not going to be in Crisis, you know, don't get your hopes up. But it, that's actually false. He's lying. He's in Crisis. We've had it confirmed. Canada Graphs was on set. He was filming. He was in his Lucifer gear. So, yeah, d don't trust that, basically. Okay, so now let's move on to talk about Titans. So... Pagey released another video talking about the Titan scene. It seems like it's definitely happening, or at least it was in the script. Basically, what happens is, you know, we cut to the Titans, and it's in the Titans Towers. They're all there. They're sort of just standing in a superhero pose, and, you know, it's going to be like 30 seconds or so. And so, yeah, Pagey confirmed that. I talked about this the other day, so I'm not going to go into so much depth for that. So let's move on to talk about some of these synopsises for The Flash and Supergirl. Okay, so let's talk about Supergirl right here. So this is for episode 5 of season 5. A new danger arises. On the eve of the worldwide launch of Andrea Rojas' VR contact lenses, Kara and William team up on an investigation that exposes a terrorist plot. Kelly and Alex celebrate an anniversary, but Alex's safety is in jeopardy. Okay, so that is the synopsis for episode 5 of Supergirl Season 5. Okay, so let's break it down. So a new danger arises. I don't know who it's going to be, what type of danger, but it's something to do with this terrorist plot. And so Andrea is launching the VR contact lenses. It's going to be a big event. I reckon something definitely is going wrong right there. Kara and William in this episode team up. So obviously they're kind of nemesis right now. And so they're going to team up. And they're going to investigate a terrorist plot, which is kind of weird because, you know, with everything that William stands for in Catco right now and what Andrea wants to see, like, I don't see why they would be investigating a terrorist plot because that's not clickbait like they want. So we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, they're working together, which is kind of strange. OK, Kelly and Alex celebrate an anniversary, but Alex's safety is in jeopardy. I reckon it could be like in terms of emotional safety because she's opening up about something or it could be you know literal danger she could be in actual jeopardy i don't know what anniversary it is is it like half a year or something since they've been together i don't know but anyway so not too much in that synopsis but a lot to get excited for in the upcoming episodes of supergirl let's talk about the flash so we got a new synopsis for season six episode five this is how it goes danny trejo guest stars Cisco's faith in his ability to fill Barry's shoes as team leader is upended when he learns of a shocking murder. Meanwhile, Killer Frost trusts no one except herself to hunt down the dangerous Ramsey Russo. 
And yeah, so that's it. Let's break it down. So Danny Trejo is back as Breacher. I have to say, guys, I'm not a fan of Breacher. Season 4 was really, really bad. It was such a disappointment. And I didn't like Breacher at all. I'm sorry, Danny Trejo. I like you. But wasn't into it. And I'm still not into it. So I'm very curious. But it's going to be obviously linked to Cisco. And the fact that Barry's trying to teach Cisco to be a team leader. And to teach him to live in a world without the Flash, basically. And, you know, to carry on what they're doing. But everything's upended when they learn of a shocking murder. I think it could be the potential murder of Gypsy. So, I think that's possible. I think it's unlikely. But it could happen. Or it could actually be that Breacher eventually dies. But I reckon this death, this murder, whoever's been killed, is going to be kind of early in the episode. So I wouldn't guess it's Breacher because I reckon he would stick around for a bit. So, it's someone on his earth or someone that he has traveled to see so that could be gypsy there is a high chance okay so meanwhile killer frost trusts no one except herself to hunt down the dangerous ramsey rosso so it seems like maybe he's been exposed like as some sort of danger maybe she finds out about what he's done to himself that he's a meta and everything now but Thank you guys so much for watching this video, this is the end of it, so turn on notifications to not miss any videos. As we head into the new episode, Supergirl comes back tonight for episode 3, so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys later, goodbye. I see red.